Welcome to the Boise State Esports Arena, and today you join us for NACE Overwatch matches. We're going to be starting out with Boise State's match against Independence Community College out of Independence, Kansas. I'm host Jacob Palmer, joined by Colin Junkin, calling all of the action for you here tonight. And Colin, today's a very big day in oh, yeah. Overwatch history. A new season has dropped, and so many changes. We were looking over them before the fight today, and what is standing out most to you before objective? It's all brought to you by Drop-In Gaming, the premier online platform for gamers who seek competition. Play your favorite games to win cash and prizes through free and paid entry matches and tournaments. Whether you're new to the scene or a seasoned veteran, Drop-In Gaming has the right games and competition for you. And this is the first match of the night for Overwatch, and we will be moving on to another big Division One schools. We're going to be starting out, though, on a very familiar side. We mm -hmm. are going to be starting out on Legion Tower. Still one of my all-time one of my all-time favorites. I mean, I know there's not a whole lot to choose from, but I feel like you can't really go wrong with the uh, Legion Tower. And let's take a look at the lineups that we have. We've got Kel Daydream. Uh, Kier, sir. Oh. Uh, the history of the United States, but, but who am I? Independence, Kansas, very important city, as it's one of the uh, main start points for the Oregon Trail. Any of you, oh, okay. um, any, uh, oh, no, no, excuse me, not Independence, Kansas. See, now I'm just showing up. That was Independence, Missouri. Okay. Now Never mind. Too many, I, I was too many independents. To make, I was trying to make early... There will be some mainstays I think we'll still see. I mean, Lucio, if anything, got a boost, and he was already, you know, uh, as nerdy a Lucio main likes to point out. Oh, no, they're oh! right into the green. You go. No! You never want to take that route. Oh, my goodness. I was just saying, as nerdy always says. Well, oh, no, they're oh! right into the green. You go. No! You never want to take that route. Oh my goodness, I was just saying, as Nuri always says, well, something Nuri says again and again, don't take that teleport route. Do not tempt fate, or else you will end up in the gutter, in the drink, with the fishes. <laughs> Goes and moves off to the side. He's booped Ooh. off by Rindy. Well, now we're going to see the environmentals really come in clutch. Look at that charge from the right. Trying to take out Cleary solo on health, and he'll be eliminated. Independence Community College just roaring to life against the Broncos. Mm -hmm. That Ryan charge also got a buff. Oh, trying to dive right to the black line. Both beats get answered back, but not before Independence is bashed. Her back goes down. Oh, nice. That's a great rampage hit. Two of Independence and Boise State clears out the point completely. There's just the Lucio left. He's gone, and the Broncos back in control, but they had to spend artillery barrage incoming, but so it's another type of barrage. It's Moose with a double, keeping Boise in it, and another rampage is going to go right on to Gordo, taking out the tank for Independence Community College's ultimates being spent as soon as they come online, but Boise State holding control at this point. <laughs> Managed to tie it up for just half a second here. Chosen does have blades. You need to make sure nobody really now, goes down. Oh, and that's a great environmental right there. That's a massive piece of the damage where Independence goes down. A oh. great pin, but Beat came out just in time here because of the blade. Wendo on the side of Independence as well. But not a whole lot of uh -oh. answer back. That works out for them. Chosen working on a flank to get into the back line. They've spent the immortality field. It's taken out, and that Baptiste is taking a bit of damage. Rindy, the knife lands right into him in Boise State. Now now looking good with one support down. What a barrage in close quarters. The Broncos keep control of this fight. There's so much more movement when it comes to the back line. He's going to force out the immortality field. And already Moose takes out one from the Pirates. And now this Tracer trying to find some sort of scritchy target. Going to be able to take out the Rhine. But the, the, the Symmetra is doing work on her own. That with a charge forward and a double. Lyric is trying to make the best of a bad situation. He's just going to be able to boop the Reinhardt off. He's going to source. Oh, look at this barrage. Oh, yes. They're able to read the Fara. Moose is going to have his barrage streak end. With the change of tank pace here. Here comes out Beat as well. He's going to push past his window, get shattered. Plus oh wall my. out there, but Lyric, Lyric getting a double fire. Are you kidding? Oh no, but live by the sword, not die by the sword. He manages a way to get back up there. Chosen with a nice sticky bomb, putting Boise State into a one-person advantage. 
now Boise State is going to have to deal with that artillery coming out. Not really, they just kind of move out of the target area. Moose takes out the immortality field. Kitsune run, gives Boise State the go-ahead to go forward, and Clear is able to pick out Kaiser. It's now even at four apiece. Whole lot of damage for uh -oh. the Pirates. Chosen was also really good on this Tracer here, especially in the first fight, was able to take out a lot of people. We're done with the timeout. Boise State still with a hefty lead. Gets a demo on a two, the Bastion. Boise State can't oh. just... Order again, too, because there is another talking point I wanted to get to with all the new stuff this season and what the map lineup is. There is one change, and of course, we get the obvious out of the way. It's going to be King's Row, of course. Yep. That hasn't changed. But what has changed is one of the escort stages, Junkertown, has been significantly changed. Independence, the Pirates, to a complete sweep. Right now, the Pirates are caught up in the theater. They're going to try to make their way past the checkpoint. Lyric holding the point down is going to put on some healing and move around the corner as Clear takes out two, picks up the double, and is still very high on health. In fact, Independence has completely retreated. Shot. I mean, when you're just that good, you can honestly make the projectile the size of a penny and probably still had clear fire. Oh, look at the health just melt away right now from that Kiriko Gordo. Also eliminated by Kel. It is a complete roadblock here at the spawn point for Independent Team. But with Moose just having free reign to take pot shots right at the opposing team's spawn, uh, a Reaper isn't going to be able to counter that. No, and all, that, all he that, can that's... do is just look up at the sky and shake his fist. I think that's what that mage trying to do is perhaps slow them down. Oh, hold it just a bit too early. Even though that self damage is there. Run away just quite yet. It's going to actually use the ult here. Try Solo captive. Oh, wow. May should be able to survive a little longer. Tank, though. He's diverting a lot of the attention. Nice slam down. He's going to be bailed out in terms of his health abilities. And he gets another nice pick here. He's going to go right up against Gordo. The immortality field is spent. Ooh, Boise yeah. State still keeping independence contested. Point. He's going to be given up. Yeah, he's trying to get, try get that hold them too. But honestly, I've seen it quite a lot especially in Maze, where a team really gets hold at first point, that checkpoint, but once they get the payload, they, they kind of open up the free range to do a little bit better here, but Moose is on the flank route. Oh, an unsuspected oh. sojourn is going to be absolutely doused with rockets. Go down, there's the purple. No more healing for you. The cleanup on everybody else. And that's Broncos taking right back control. And Lucio's boop now as well, because I think it went, I think Lucio's boop went up to 35. There's a really well coordinated with the manga, but Moose and Clear are just doing a good enough job on the payload, getting a pick onto Gordo as well. In fact, both Magas have come out and just bitten the dust instantly. Yeah, even though you have that increased health pool, everybody else has an increased amount of damage. It might be tough to sustain a manga in a team that's gonna effectively hit their shots there. There's the last of it, OT, one last second. There's the last of it, OT, one last second touch. Your support's being chased down. Oh! Was gonna get clear instead. Oh, look at that Maga of the anti place right onto him. He's still trying to keep this going by being on the payload. Meanwhile, they divide and conquer, taking out the Maga and the Kiriko at the same time. That range that Farah has to just take full advantage of every opportunity they can. It, it's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be this insane. Ends now. So I'm out of healing. There's Railgun used on the opposing team. There, there is. More barrages coming out. Gordo's gonna get the dive onto Daydream. How in words uh, ignores armor, but also Tesla Cannon's primary fire got a damage increase as well as Primal Rage got a damage increase as well. So we might be, we should. The Easter. Wow. Democrat taking a whole bunch of damage as Kel moving on in, dealing damage with that Tesla Cannon. Moves on up to help back up Boise State's Farah into the back line, and the Squishies try to get away, but it is just no use. It is just a hot perfect on the tanks. There goes Outrush as well, but immediately goes down. 
Keister getting three so far here in this fight. I don't know how Keister is pulling this off. There's another pick by the Junkrat of Focus and Solo owed oh. on to Keister, but both DPSs are now gone for the Pirates. Boise State trying to round the corner. And got their tank in the Death Rat of Focus and Solo owed oh. on to Keister, but both DPSs are now gone for the Pirates. Boise State trying to round the corner. And got their tank in the Death of DPSs, but Independence has a Kitsune rope. What a shot landed by wow. Flair right in the air and is now trying to take out the Kriko and the Rhine, but yes. What's going on right now? Gov's going to come in and help out just a little bit. Shatter available as well, but nothing else for you Oh my here. goodness, Cal, oh, no. you madman! He's going right into their faces, <laughs> probably just going to try to keep them away and at bay. Oh, it is. And the Shatter just on top of that for more CC. Boise State winning. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see a lot more Flyers this season. All right, the players are ready to load back in. We'll see if they pick up the full 3-0 sweep and this night particularly early and move on into Wednesday ready to brag, ready to say that their standings have improved because That's one of the... As they are going to take this first point here and we say it will begin. Actually, they probably will go for a little bit of poke here into this fight as... They're not even on the second point. There goes out Blade as well. As oh well as my Death goodness! Him, as well as Whole wow. Hog and the denial of he King and well. all of them mid air. Oh. <laughs> goes out Rush as well. Bullstorm sitting in wait to doom, but a lot of damage as well. As well plays purple here, but there's going to be a trade. Lose your tank for a support. You have to see if that health lasting effects. It seems to not. Oh man, Clear wow. picks up another triple. Nemo. And uh, he no. he has class this time. <laughs> They're far away from anything else. Chosen coming up with the Death Blossom. Possibly again, Kitsune is going to be spent for the engage by Independence. But already Clear has taken out their Lucio. They move on toward the port. Junker Green trying to jump around, but it isn't doing any good. He's taken out. Lyric is the first one taken out for the... <laughs> I feel like whatever credit he got with that team wipe, he just lost this one. Oh, what in the world? Look at that sleep night. That is absolutely crazy. But that blade does come out, gets a couple. Clear is going to come back with one, but it's just not going to be enough. But it's not without enough. This is enough to divert Independence's attention, allow Boise State to move back, push as a full team. But that knife is stuck right into Joseph's back. Takes him out the rampage coming out by Kel, but another round that could be an advantageous position for the Broncos to take advantage. There's gonna get one, Kel to get one as well. A couple sleeps going out is gonna land on a Bronco, but it really won't matter because that's a team wipe. Issue takes the point. So right. much healing and sustain between these two that they're just fighting with Poon. This, this could be this big. Point. Oh, here it is. What a rampage! It heads on to a bunch of independents, and Boise State has the entire buffet lined up before them. They pick off three, are now going out against the other two. Can they pick them up? They're going to try to get this Genji, stagger him out for good measure, and that is everyone for the Broncos. Trying to kind of pick a fight with one of the squishies in the back. He moves on to the point, trying to take out this Ana, who's just right there. Takes out the support, and the Genji comes in for backup. It's who he was facing uh -oh. off against earlier. Meanwhile, the tank drops for Independence. Boise State maintaining control of the point, and now has this Kariko to get a nice stagger. Game number three of their season. That was going to take a bit of the high ground here. Looking for targets. Not going to find much, though. Enemy tank is going to charge in. Use the shout first. Oh, There's Amphi as well. Grand Page is going to find one as Beautiful. well. Beautiful. That's awesome. What a play. They all get eliminated in one foul swoop. And that is it. Done and dusted. Game set and match. And one celebratory emote as well. And uh, I think I know who's probably uh, chosen. It was actually before Clear, I think. Clear. Uh, Switched on to the Reaper yep. later. Yeah, this, yeah. As well as the combination of Hawk pushing everybody into it. Then the shutdown right there. That's that's all you need.